Welcome guys, uh, thanks for tuning into the video. Uh, my name is Nathan Huffman, I work with Blessman Instrument Company. Uh, I'm here to show you guys our bubbler systems. Uh, we put this demo together for you guys uh, to give you a little insight on what we, what we sell and how it works. Um, so basically going into the theory of it, um, a bubbler is meant to measure the level of a tank, a pump, a well, something like that. Um, and it's used by inferring pressure uh, inferring the level by pressure. Um, so the way it works is you'll have supply air coming in from um, from your shop. It'll be 100 psi, 80 psi, whatever. It depends on how deep your tank is. Uh, so that's going to come into the system and go up through this regulator where it's going to knock it down. Uh, again, inferring wherever your level is. Uh, in this case, it's around 7 psi. Uh, then it's going to go through a filter, try to get anything out of the air, make it as clean as possible. And then it's going to go to this, and this is basically the key to measuring the level. This is a Siemens uh, constant differential relay, and uh, that basically controls the flow. And it keeps the flow at one consistent uh, flow rate so that the only, con the only thing that is changing is the pressure. That way you can infer the level. Uh, so you can do adjustments to this, and as you go higher in the flow, you can see that the bubbles will start increasing and increasing and increasing in how much flow it's going through. And likewise, if you go lower, then they go slower. So no matter what the level is, no matter what pressure is going through, the flow is always going to stay the same, and that's very important. Out of this, it goes straight out to a T, where the transmitter is measuring the pressure, and then it's going out into the actual tank. So. The reason for that um, is as the level increases, so I'll give an example here, is as your level increases, the head pressure on the bottom of your dip tube is going to start going higher. And it's going to require more pressure to keep that constant flow rate. And based on that, your pressure is the only thing changing. So as the level gets higher, your pressure has to go up. As the level gets lower, your pressure has to go down to keep that same flow rate. And that way you can infer the level. So that's the basic concept behind this uh, and the whole theory behind what a bubbler does. Ours in particular, um, we use the Siemens constant differential relay. Uh, we use pneumatics for, uh, for all of our regular regulator and filter. The transmitter, we can use whatever you guys want. Uh, we use Siemens and Honeywell generally. Uh, we've had Rosemount come in, Foxboro come in. We've had different applications, um, and it's very customized. That's the nice thing. Uh, right now, we're using a precision digital display that has nice big lettering, and it can tell you what the level is. We can change that from inches, feet, whatever you guys want to do. Um, this is something we just added. This is very important because a lot of our applications are wastewater. And there's a lot of things that build up around the dip tube, and if that gets clogged, then the pressure is going to get higher and higher, and it's going to think that the level is going way up, and you're going to get inaccurate readings. So what we did here is we have this right here, and it basically takes your supply air and reroutes it straight through the dip tube. So you have 100 PSI or so going through there, unclogs everything you have. You just press that button, everything starts shooting out. Once you let go, the bubbles will resume and you will get your level measurement again. In terms of going towards the future and what we've been uh, looking to accomplish in the next couple months, uh, we're actually going to be uh, giving another option for this display. And the reason being is right now, when you purge this, the level is going to get all whacked out because now you're shooting 100 psi through everything, it's going to be changing. and so. The customers have to ignore the 4 to 20 out that's going, going everywhere. And so we are actually replacing this with a different display that is going to allow the 4 to 20 to be exactly the same as it was before you were purging so it locks it so no relays or pumps or anything goes off and it'll give you a lot more options. It will also allow for unlike a manual purge button like this, it will allow for you to either just press a button and it'll go on a timing cycle, or you can have it set up with days of the week. You could have it noon every Friday, noon every Saturday, noon every day, whatever time, any day. 
and you can just keep it going whenever you want to. Um, and that'll do automatic purging, and that's a huge benefit too. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty simple unit. Uh, it's, it's not reinventing the wheel too much. Uh, it's one of the oldest level technologies uh, that's out there. It's been around for years and years and years and years. It's very common among wastewater treatment plants and uh, uh, it's just very old technology. People understand it. It's pretty simple and it doesn't break. It's, uh, it's very reliable. It stays sturdy. We use the greatest parts that you can buy for it and uh, we hope that you guys uh, see that benefit as well. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, my name is Nathan Huffman. Uh, you guys can call in for any questions. Ask for my name. I'm the project manager for all of these, so I can help you with any application that you need. Um, again, we customize these to your needs. So whatever you need, give me a call and we'll talk through it. Thanks.